Let me take a look at this, probably. There's also a few trainers around that I probably need to fight as well. Meowth. Gonna do it because I want... Ah, uh, what's it called? XP candy. Because it's pretty good just to have that. And it's also not that difficult to just go into any terror battle and then win. But also, I think I'm also gonna purposefully lose this one. So I'll be back in a second. Because I also want to show what happens when you lose. You can feel tremendous, tremendous energy gathering. Time is running out. This is a particularly slow timer. I've actually been losing a few of these on my second second profile. But that's mostly because I'm switching Pokemon around too much. And having a lot of underlevel Pokemon. But yes, when we, the time draws near to its end, the Pokemon starts gathering energy to end the battle, basically. Here it comes. You and the others were blown out of the cavern. This is like a classic N64 bad end. <laughs> you got the bad ending. Anyway, the other thing that's interesting when you lose a terror raid battle is that you can walk directly into the crystals. I just like that you can do this. Also, that's just... I, I guess we go inside of this thing anyway. Like, that's, that's that hole there is actually where you, where you go into it. But you, I can literally just walk into it if you if you lose the battle, so... I am in here now. I am in here, sneak, sneak. Oh, I don't want to... Uh, ah, ah. There's a lot of stuff in here. I am in the crystals. So yeah, I just want to show you that you can do that because you can just go inside of it. Anyway, let me actually beat this up now. Because I've, I've spent like five minutes waiting for this timer to end. It's actually crazy how slow that was. It shouldn't that be that difficult to take it out because I just need to do probably one good move. If I, if I remember what's effective against fighting type, that is. Which I think Psychic might be. Let's find out. Yeah, Psychic, so... Let's do Psybeam. And destroyed. Great. Why can't the timer be that fast when I want it to be fast? I don't know, it's fine. Also don't really need to catch many... extra Terra-type Pokémon. Because you can only ter terrestrialize one Pokémon... between Pokémon Centers, so... It's not incredibly useful... to just have all the different types, so... It could be, but not really right now, so... I guess it also depends on which one will give you the advantage in a fight you're already in, so... Uh, but anyway, let me go... probably over here. Restore some of my Pokémon or something. Heal my Pokémon, please. There are also quite a few, um, Gimmigal that I just missed on some signs earlier on as well. Because I think... I can't remember where it was over here, but there was one somewhere along here that I, I missed. I can't remember where it was. Uh, but also, if we go all the way over here, there's like a sign here, and I think I missed the Gimmigal there, possibly. But it's fine. Let me head up this road. Because there's an off-branch off that I want to take somewhere along here. That should take me to a Jolteon. And it would probably be good to get a lot more of the... The evolutions just by... Um, just by finding them out in the wild, basically. Especially with their extra... Extra, extra strong ones? I don't know. I guess they're not really that extra strong, but anyway. There's also a little thing down there that I could check. Also, why is there light in some of these spots. 
I'm not crazy, am I? Brand sp spanking new. I'm a brand spanking new dragon tamer. I'll roar at you with my dragon power. Okay. I'll gender Gendra the dragon tamer. Sent out Dreepy. Well, I'm pretty sure Fairy type is effective, so I'm going to use Dazzling Gleam. Nice. Aren't Dragon types supposed to be strong? Well, they are, but also not strong enough, apparently. It looks like there's a path up here that I haven't seen before. Or haven't gone up before. Uh, let me just run for that. Give me a minute. Please. I don't actually know what's up here. But I'm gonna check since I'm here. Actually, there's probably... Maybe. Also, no. This just ends here, apparently. There might be another stake up this mountain, possibly. Which would be the last one that I need to find since I've already found... Three others, so... This was a cave here. I don't know what's through here. Oh, hello. Funny running into a, you in a place like this, Gibble. Uh, I don't know how I can do this without destroying you, so I'm going to throw a quick ball. See if that works. One, two, three. Nah. Use Dragon Breath. Doesn't affect Gardevoir. Well, I'll try Dusk Ball now then. Nope, cool. This is gonna be great. Guess I'll just throw an Ultra Ball. It's only level 18, so I can't really attack it. And I should be able to catch Pokemon the lower level. Easier, so I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. Great ball, please just let me let me let something work. Nope, not even close. Why? 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 I should have done more timer balls, or no, more quick balls. Because that almost worked. One, two, nope. I can't even remember what's not gonna destroy this. Because I don't know if it's resistant to psychic. Let me just check. Well, the answer is no, it's not resistant to psychic, it's not weak to psychic. But, I'm still too strong. Oh well. We'll find another one eventually. Up uh, over here is just... Over here, I guess. In fact, I think we've been through here before. Like, down this path. But anyway, up there is where the, uh... The Jolteon is, so I'm gonna go get that. Which should be easier to catch, because I just need to lower its health anyway. Which would just work perfectly. Because that's how it works with the Terra Pokemon. It's not terrible. Hello. I want to catch you. Look at how epic the evolutions are with their the Terra types. It's so cool. Oh, you're level 50. Um, Dazzling Gleam? I don't think that's going to work. I don't think it's going to work. Well, so that's probably super effective. I have 2 HP. It's fine. Yeah, that was not as good as I needed it to be. It's fine. I wasn't expecting to win on the first shot, so... I can't remember what's effective against Electric either, so...
Other than ground, I guess. And it's not a levitating Pokemon, so we, we're gonna be good, so. All set. Shadow Ball. Again. Because that that's apparently all it knows. Earthquake. Very nice. It's super effective, and now we can catch it. Well worth it. Use a Dusk Ball since it's night. Nope, didn't work. Cool. Used Yawn. That's fine. Ultra Ball. I like to try and ma I, 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 I really want to be able to change the Pokemon, like what, what balls they're in, because I feel like there could be some good, good matchups for the balls that they're in. With color and stuff like that, but it's not really easy to match every Pokemon with every type of ball, so. Since there aren't enough ball types. Very nice. Add that to my collection of Eevee illusions. All, like, three of them. That I've caught so far. Trick TM. Very nice. But yeah, that's, that's that there, so. Don't need to be here any longer, I don't think. So maybe we have already been up here, possibly. There might not be another stake up the mountain, possibly. I don't know. I'll find out eventually. Also, I think I'm going to go over here quickly. And just keep exploring a little bit. There's that stake up there. Which I can't really get to from here. I don't think I can exploit this thing anymore because I've already cleaned out this base. So... I mean, I could try, but it's not going to work. Magikarp? Okay. Which is a Steel-type Magikarp as well, so... I don't think Gardevoir was the correct choice for this, but it's okay. I'll figure it out. Because I don't think either it's of its types are effective against this. I mean, I could be wrong, so... It's a learning experience. Oh my goodness, the background. Sorry, it's way too funny. It's, it's way too funny. Uh, yeah. Cool. Let me just cheer. Cheer then. Also, steel type... Ah, uh, Gyarados. Is interesting. Not that I'm probably gonna need it, so... There we go. I'm probably not going to catch it, so... Don't catch. Magikarp disappeared somewhere. Where will he appear next? Who can tell? Also, I wonder if I can just get up the cliff face anyway if I go through the, the Team Star Base, because I think there might be a back path up. Possibly. Uh, what was I just thinking? I can't remember. I think I remember now, possibly. Let me go to the boxes, because... Something you can can do is... If I move you quickly... You can select, like, a whole bunch. Hang on. Uh, all at once. You can only collect... Oh, hang on. Gotta move this one as well. You can only collect, uh, like, pick up five of your team at a time. Which makes sense, because you can only... You have to have a Pokemon in your party. Which means you can swap them out like, like that. But also, if I press X, we can also switch to the battle teams, which means we can actually register Pokemon to a specific team, like this. Except I don't think, as far as I'm aware, there's not an easy way, like, you can't just switch to it for some reason. I don't know why. Because I can't just, like, exit out of this, and, like, there's no button to switch to this. But you can have up to six teams saved, which at the very least will mark it on, on in the box, so that that's helpful, but I just want to be able to set this as my active party. I don't know how to do that. Anyway. 
Let me see if this will work. No, because I've already cleared out the base. That's fine. Also, don't check if there's any items just hanging around the base. Which there probably isn't, so. Can I not get up here? Like, surely I can get up here, right? No, 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 no. Maybe if I backwards long jump? Yeah. I didn't even... That didn't even... I'm falling! I'm falling! I'm where I want to be. Oh, so that's not the right direction. It's fine. I don't think it's gonna work. Also, I'm falling again. Please stop falling. Nope. Ah, it's fine. I feel like I should be able to get up there, though. So maybe if I jump up this thing... ...and then jump over here... ...that would make sense. There is a TM up here. It's very easy to miss that since you have to come back here. Helping hand. Okay. Not, not incredible, but it's something. Also, gimme ghoul? Did I just hear a gimme ghoul? Yes, there's a gimme ghoul here. They actually put a gimme ghoul in inside of a team star base. Cool. Well, that's more things I'm de definitely going to miss out on. And probably other people have missed because there's nothing else to get in a star base. So why would, why would there be a gimme ghoul there? I don't know. Another TM. Encore. So, does this actually connect up? It seems like it does because of the map, but also it definitely doesn't. So I don't know what's up with that. Can't get up to where I was hoping to get to. That way. Why does the map lie? <laughs> Why is the map lying? Probably because the, the upper part of the area is overhanging the rest of the area, probably. Uh, so I guess now I should probably actually head back to... Where I was going earlier, since there's still plenty more to do. Also, is this another trainer? That barricade. Why is there a trainer here? I don't think this was here before. That barricade over there is part of Team Star's base. Team Star's trouble, so battle me instead. Alfredo, the student. Sent out Magic Carp. That'll get him. <laughs> That'll get me. Confusion. It's only level 16, so it's not gonna matter. Aracuda. Gonna just keep battling. Again, level 16. Why is there such a huge jump in levels between here and the next area? It might be because I don't know which way you go at the start of the game. I guess I couldn't trick you even with this it with such a slick battle inv 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 invitation. Cool. Anyway, let's jump down this way. I think I might actually do the... what's it called first? The Titan Poke one. Possibly. Nightshade TM. Very nice. So much sand! True. What do you think would happen if sand gets into your, my shoes? I don't know. Sand would get into your shoes. Ismail the student. Sent out Pauncher, which I think is poison type. I don't think I'm effective against it. Probably. But that doesn't matter, so. Maybe I'll just go bury my head in the sand. Oh, hey. The room is evolving. Oh my goodness. 
Evolved into River Vroom. Steel Poison. That's his final evolution. Wants to learn Shift Gear. What? <laughs> what? What? Uh, boosting its attack stat and sharply boosts its speed stat. Interesting. I don't think I need that though. Ask for advice. Yeah, we'll get. We'll, we'll, we'll leave that where it is. Now. I'm still interested in some of these other Pokemon to see where they end up. Which Pokemon I end up keeping. Also, why is it just a random TM? Firefang TM, thank you. This is a very vast desert area, with not a lot in it. I do like that there's got a few things in it though. Like the the tower, no, the just leaning over. What is that? That's just another Pokemon we've already seen, okay. It's very hard to tell what, what is what in this area. Also, hello. Sandile. Well, I'm gonna have to catch you. Uh, somehow. Uh, let me go with... A quick ball. Please. One. Two. Three. And caught. Cool. Thank you. Very nice. Ground dark. Interesting. Also, hello, Pokemon. Thank you for being right where I was while I was busy doing other stuff. Oh, wow. Look at that boy in the background. We'll, we'll go get that in a minute. Or t five, I don't know. What is youth, though? Do you have an answer? I'll get that. I'll get the title next time, probably. Bellin the Student. Sent out Capsa Kid. It's level 24. Or a courier. Should be fine with what we've already got. Probably. Doesn't gleam. Nice. Ah, the folly of youth. Cool. Cool story. Now, I'm just gonna explore some more. See what this path is all about. Please grab the item. It's not that difficult. I don't think I've caught this yet, so I'm gonna check that. To verify. I feel like anything I'm gonna do is gonna take this out. Let me try Quick Ball again. One, two, three, and caught. Quick balls are so useful. Oh my goodness. I need to find somewhere where I can actually just buy them. <laughs> because that, that'll be... That'll be the time. Also, I might there might not be a way to buy them, possibly. But I feel like there should be. Anyway, that's a rock type. Hyper Potion times three. Wow. Just randomly sitting out here. And another gimme ghoul. Also, you can't fight a Pokemon while you're jumping, so if you if you want to not fight something, just jump over it. <laughs> and jump around to keep safe-ish. Interesting, we're here. So that's a desert. Uh, duh, duh, you disappeared, it's a floating Pokeball. We're fighting a, you're fighting a Pokeball. I've always dreamed of seeing a desert with my own eyes. Isabel the student. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a dragon type. 
right? Maybe not. It might be a... No, it's not a, it's not a dragon type. I don't know what it is. I'll never know, because I need to catch it to find out. You're full of energy, huh? Just like the desert. Oh, what is this? Why? Oh, it's this. Cool. I'm gonna just run from that. Nimble. Also need to check on these other Pokemon up here is what I was about to do. See if I've actually... Yeah, I've got a Numble. Cool. I'm gonna grab these items here as well. Max Elixir. And... Grass Knot. TM. Oh, Pachirisu. I don't think I've caught that yet, possibly. So I'll definitely catch that now. Poison type. Well, poison terror type at least, so. Okay. Do I have anything effective against poison is the other thing, because I don't... Ah, uh, it's all effective, not super effective, but still. Should be good enough. Did that not do anything? Or is it just not displaying? I'd, I'd believe it not displaying. It might actually just be super strong. We might be in trouble. No, we're good. <laughs> Fine. Now, for some reason. Like, terrain. We kiss. Confused now. It's fine. Just keep battling, please. There's a lot of waiting in this, which is doesn't feel good when you've got a timer counting down. I must need to be more real-time during these battles. With the moves. Because it doesn't feel like real-time. Well, so apparently that was enough. <laughs> I, I don't understand what's wrong with that sometimes, but it's fine. Let's catch it. And with a Pokeball. Because I don't think you can fail to catch something in here, so. Three stars. That's pretty good. Electric type. If you couldn't already tell. <laughs> now, is there anything else up here? That I need to look at. Possibly not. I mean, there's items, but... This is also going to a dead end, so I might as well check. And then run back. Wow, bright star. Oh, it's a cave. Interesting. Team Star. Watch out for Team Star. They have a real unique way of battling. Do they? Youngster Hernan. Sent out Stunky. Oh, this is gonna be an easy fight. I feel like they need to make, make, make some of the trainers a little bit harder. Just because you're not likely to see them unless you're exploring everything. They're very out of the way and they're not even required. They don't automatically fight you. You're pretty unique yourself. 
Thank you. So where does this lead? If anywhere, because it might just be a cave with some items in it. No, it does lead somewhere. Wouldn't it be funny if this was the other cave that I saw earlier? I don't think it is, but anyway. It feels like the same cave. But I'm pretty sure it's different, so... I don't think I need to be down here, though. But I do see that. And I want that. Let me, let me take that gimme ghoul coin. 